Hey guys, welcome, I'm Sade, and today I'm just giving you an update on the past week and a half. It's been a really strange week of mourning that I had. Um, our power went out, and I was on my period, so it was time of the month, power went out, and a few things happened where it just kind of, it made me spiral, but I didn't spiral into depression or anxiety or anything, and I didn't eat anything outside of carnivore, but it did, um, those few days that we were out of a routine because we was at somebody else's house and um, I wasn't in my usual wake up, make, go hunt breakfast and make myself something to eat at noon kind of situation. It was hard for me, um, especially as Gohan ended up eating non, like non carnivore and, you know, even non whole foods. And I just was jealous of the people around me that could eat by convenience that my husband he could just get out of the car and buy a burrito or a taco and just eat it and I'm sitting there like I have to wait until 6 p.m or I have to do this and then cook at somebody else's house and it's just like I went through a period of mourning because yes I was jealous um but I, I also brought me back to reality because when I'm in my home all day every day and I'm you know working from home and I've just got Gohan and it's just me and Gohan and we're in a routine and I know what we're eating every day it's easy to stick to carnivore and it really made me think and it really made me have a new level of respect for carnivores that are social social carnivores for carnivores that have big families that eat whatever they want for carnivores that have to go to work every day and be around people that eat that drink coffee in the mornings and eat donuts and eat whatever they want throughout the day i salute you guys because I personally don't think I would last that long if I was in a situation where I had to be out of the house a majority of the time. So I do applaud social carnivores, carnivores, families that still eat the sad diet and carnivores that have to go to work because it's incredibly difficult. And I only experienced three days basically outside of the home and I broke, it broke me, but it didn't break me to a point where I start, I ate outside carnivore. I didn't, I just, um, I added shrimp back and I added egg back because I was doing lion um and now i've added those things back into my diet but that's another video um the period of mourning that i was going through it was because i had realized how incredibly difficult it is to actually live in a world without convenience and i'm basically a princess i've always treated myself like a princess i've always acted like a princess so and i always hate being inconvenienced um, so not having the convenience of just being able to just get out of the car or just, you know, if there is something where we're not in our house for a few days where I can actually trust the restaurant to cook my food without any added sugars, without any, um, you know, herbs or spices or whatever it is, I just won't eat. And I am that type of person. If I don't know exactly what's going in my food and I'm not going to eat it, I'd rather cook my own food or starve basically. And it just got to a point where I was like, damn. This is really a lifetime thing and it really made me think I'm never just going to be able to just eat out of sheer boredom, pleasure. Um, you know, it's it was, a, it was a, a tough three days, but I got over it and I feel even better now. And definitely my time of the month wasn't helping, but it's, um, it's just a very, uh, I go, we all go through these phases, especially in this carnivore journey. We, we're going to go through these phases. I'm going, I went through that phase. I know it's pr probably a phase that's going to, come again and again and again um and you know i hadn't been through this phase throughout the throughout the whole time in carnival but in the beginning yes it was very hard the first three four weeks it, five six weeks was incredibly difficult and it didn't feel realistic and that same feeling when starting carnival is what i felt in those three days of mourning where i w i basically lost control of everything and Gohan was just eating whatever and then his behavior changed he's having tantrums crying screaming and I'm like damn the whole a lot of the time I thought that I was doing something wrong by keeping him so strict as well eating what I eat having minimal fruits uh, mixing vegetables in his food sometimes and he's a calm collected relaxed baby but now when he you know when we're out we're not in the house and he's being given things left right and center he's a totally different kid and I'm like okay well at least now I can have peace of mind that I'm not you know I know it sounds ridiculous but I'm not starving my child I'm not um keeping my child from any any real um nutrition I'm actually doing the right thing because seeing how his behavior changed from how when I feed him to when he gets fed just whatever is given to him it's a big difference 
So um, it's a it's a learning period, guys. It is definitely a learning period. And it's not something that is... People kept saying to me, and I was like, yeah, whatever. People kept saying to me, it's not a linear process. It's not a process where it's just up, 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 up. It's up, 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 doom, up, 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 doom, up, 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 doom. Like taking 10 steps forward and then like three steps back kind of thing. And um, I've experienced that now. But for the first time ever, I didn't actually cave. I just sat through the emotion because I am able to process thoughts better. So everything was a lot easier to deal with. In in my period of mourning, I was like, okay, I had the capacity to be able to say, this is going to be over soon. And I'm not going to miss these foods again. Like I haven't been over the past few weeks and I'm not going to feel like I'm missing out on anything. And I'm so glad that I didn't cave into some peanut butter and bread or some you know, onions or whatever. I'm just glad I didn't cave in. And again, and now I feel even better and even stronger. So after that morning period, I feel like I'm, I'm even more an advocate for carnivore now. Whereas if I would have caved in, I would have, that would have been, that would, it would have been over because it's like the veganism. When I went vegan and then I started eating meat again, there was no going back. As hard as I tried, there was no going back. And that's just the kind of person I am. So I have to maintain and um, abs abstain basically for the rest of my life if I'm going to do this because I know one hit of ice cream if it even tastes the same because I don't know if it even tastes the same the peanut butter smelled horrible to me when I smelled it the other day because I looked at the bread and I looked at the peanut butter I smelled the peanut butter I went oh it, it didn't smell like chemical it just had this weird unexplainable smell I don't know whether it was the oil or whatever I was like that don't smell the same as it used to and then I smelt, I opened up the bread and I smelt the bread. And I was like, no, this isn't the bread that I'm, you know, I usually used to get a rush, a hit of like, I don't know, whatever it was when I used to just smell bread. And I just put the peanut butter back, I put the bread back. I was like, yeah, no, I'm not going to do this out of sheer convenience and out of frustration because I'm mourning and grieving. I'm not going to go back to that. So, yeah, it's been a weird week. But I prevailed and I'm very proud of myself. And um, also just to let you guys know that the reason why I'm not doing videos on this phone is because it's T-Mobile Revel. It's very old. My son cracks the front screen so I can never really see what's recording. And I can never see if the recording stopped because of storage, which doesn't have very much storage at all. So I'm getting a phone this week and I'm going to have a lot more um, content coming. Uh, what I eat in a day, you know, videos that I've planned with my husband to do with my husband. Um, just lots of stuff, more about how I feed, feed Gohan, more about how I eat, um, just lots more stuff. I'm gonna, I'm actually thinking about starting a mental health podcast for, uh, carnivores in the community that have just started and are really already seeing benefits in the carnivore. There's so much that I want to do. I'm such, I'm a really creative person, but I'm very limited with what I can do on this phone due to space, due to the camera, um, and due to my front screen being cracked as well so the bit where the camera is is cracked too but i am going to be doing a lot more content guys i know i've been saying it forever but i finally saved up enough for a phone so i'm gonna get one this week Ooh. um but yeah i will be back with another video soon guys i'm just letting you know that look i haven't fallen off tracks i know not having a video for a couple of days can leave the mind wondering but yeah i'm doing really great i feel better than ever especially after that period of mourning and coming back into this you know, happy to be a carnivore lifestyle. It's like, yay me. <laughs> but yeah, um, bye guys. Take care. I'll speak to you soon.